Hey everyone, and thanks for checking out this video on the 15 best product survey questions to ask in 2023. So in today's video, we'll be covering off great questions that you can ask to get insightful product feedback from either the customers or employees uh, via surveys and forms. And of course, uh, you can always learn more uh, about this blog that we have, are covering on our website, so voiceform.com. You can check it out in the resource section. We have a ton of resources on how to ask best possible questions, best practices, tips, and more for surveys and forms. Uh, and then of course, you can always check out more about VoiceForm as well there too. So 15 best product questions to ask. Uh, so here in this uh, blog that we're gonna be covering, we're covering 15 questions that really help you understand more about you know, what are the motivations that users have to using your product? What value are they getting from your product? What problem is your product solving? So these are really great questions to draw out more qualitative information from your audience. And so from here, we kind of position these questions as a great way to, in a very targeted way, draw out the best qualitative insight possible from your audience. Uh, so let's dive in and get started on these 15 questions. So the first, how often do you use your product? So again, really just starting to understand more about the habits and behaviors behind why people are using your product, what they're using it for, and how often. On a scale of one to 10, how satisfied are you with our product? So more of these like NPS type style questions, but really just understanding where do your consumers stand, uh, whether it be colleagues or uh, you know, end customers, uh, and is there room for improvement? And so, you know, being able to ask these questions and then probe more open-ended questions afterwards, such as why, drawing out more context, just really understand more about a baseline for your consumers. Um, have they tried similar products before? These are great questions to hear firsthand from your audience, how they view your product um, in comparison to others in market. So a lot of product teams will have their assumptions as to you know, what they view the competitive landscape to be, but sometimes it's just great to let your end users actually tell that to you yourselves and how they actually view you um, in comparison to others and who your competition actually even is. How likely would you recommend the product to a friend uh, or you know, even a colleague, et cetera? This is just a great MPS style question. Great to measure over time and layer in these more qualitative questions to probe as to why. Does our product help you achieve your goals? So again, learn more about why users are ultimately using your product and what value they're getting from it, as that will help you shape a lot of things related to your roadmap, who your ideal customer type is, uh, or customer profile type is, and again, just learning more context uh, behind your users, again, in a really meaningful way. How easy is it used to pro uh, use the product? So again, how are you making it really frictionless for people to try it, drive to value, and even grow within, uh, you know, how they use the product within their organization? So learning more about what you can do better from onboarding to free trials or free tiers, uh, and then also, you know, more about resources and tools to help people get the best out of your product, whether it be templates or resource guides, things like that. Um, what do you like about uh, or dislike about our product or what features do you like best? These kind of questions are fantastic for really just, again, drawing more of a baseline as to where uh, consumers stand with your product and what areas should you really be focusing on within your roadmaps? Are there any features you wish to be included? Uh, you know, really, again, this is just driving more to understand about what value your product actually serves to customers and, um, and what more you can be doing to make it really sticky and engaging for consumers to return to your product time and time again. If our product was no longer available, how would you feel? This is really great in being able to differentiate what parts of your product are nice to have versus absolutely business essential. And these are great questions to start driving out or really starting to uncover um, what is the biggest value driver for your product. Next would be, uh, how would you rate the value uh, compared to price point? So similar to seeing how customers view you in comparison to their view of a competitive landscape, how do they view you in comparison to a price landscape as well? Uh, maybe there's room for you to grow, room for you to change your product construct to uh, you know, ultimately maybe raise your price or, or change the, the pricing style, whether it be a volume-based uh, pricing model uh, or some sort of other flexible pricing type. Uh, next would be, uh, which of the following words did you use to describe our product? So what really comes top of mind to consumers when it comes to your product? Why did you choose us? These are really great ways to even draw out testimonials from your customers. Why do you choose us over others? Uh, you know, ultimately, what was your you know, buying process like? And that ultimately might be great questions that will help influence other teams that you work with, whether it be sales or CS. Um, any other thoughts or feedback you provide with us is also a great one. So layering in these open-ended question types are just fantastic when it comes to learning a little bit more about things that you typically wouldn't see in concrete quantitative data giving your consumers more options to respond. So those are 15 of the best product survey question types to ask this year. If you have any more questions or want to get to know Voiceform a little bit more, check out our website at voiceform.com.